the flying application was upgraded to version 1.1 and what's new this is what I show you now. Hello and welcome back to another video. My name is Tom and we hop straight into the research updates. First one you will see basically in every tab on every side and this is our updated user interface. So here you have the country flags now on the top in the middle before it was here on the right side and mm, sometimes it was a bit hard to read a specific word or a sentence of a design. This should now be in the past and everything should be visible. The second thing in the user interface is when you hover over a design all the options and little features you have here the favorites button is now here on the top left so it is easier for you to add designs to your favorites and also this here was a bit cleaned up for example the more info button has now a new icon and um, talking about the more info when you click on it you will have here the details of every design like you had it before with keywords and similar designs and so on plus what is also new you have here now directly are open in amazon button and also that's probably the most interesting thing a new keyword workbench you can work with for keywords for your listing and so on and yeah this is what I show you also now, what you can do with this new keyword workbench. The keyword workbench is not just available in the research section, in the details of a design, it's also available in the design edit in the flying upload section, but we will come to this a little bit later. I chose here another design with a bit more text, so it's yeah easier to see what it can do and how it looks. So you can basically decide here if you want to open um, the whole listing or you just want to open the keywords in the workbench and in this example we open the whole listing and this is entered here and you can see basically all information about the characters, how many words, how many keywords and so on and you also have here the already extracted keywords. Of course you have here your options like clear, um, paste from clipboard, download, copy to clip clipboard and so on. What is most interesting here are the actions. For example, you can remove the duplicate. So if a keyword is extracted more than one time, you can simply remove it here. And you also see here the whole section, how it changes. And this is a new option, how you can prepare your listing, how you can extract your keywords, all the important information. I will make an, another extra video about the keyword workbench. So we leave it like that for now in this video. I think you have a hint and I guess how it works. And um, a last thing, a last um, update I wanted to show you is we have also improved favorites. So for example, you can manage here your favorites if you like a design, if you like a specific niche and so on. And um, what we have improved is how you can delete now. This is before you had to click here and then say delete and then one by one. And here it is now much easier because you just have to click the button here and the favorites are gone. And the other option you have now is if you selected a specific niche or a specific tag before you deleted like one design and then it put you back to the favorite section itself so you started here without selected a specific tag what is now the new logic is if you decide to delete the design here it will stay in the tag so you don't get thrown out here and then you have to move back and from out and so on so I think you know what I mean and this are these are our research updates for the keyword workbench we will make an extra video and to make this video not too long we will go now to the upload section where we also have a few updates we beamed now in the flying upload section 
to be a bit more specific in the design management where we improved also the UI a little bit. For example, here the buttons or the options have now a little orange frame. So it yeah looks a little bit more modern and I think a little bit cooler. Uh, what we also have here in the design management is you can here preview your image. So you have it, yeah, um, in the, not in the original size, obviously, but in a bigger preview, you can download here like before. And what we added here is you can now see your original file name, how you uploaded your image. So if you search something on your um, PC for some reason, and you wanted to know the um, original file name, how you uploaded it into the design management, you can now check here. So the UI improvements or the new details are these smaller improvements. What is really new and what will help you a lot is in the edit. First, what we have here is in the videos before, if you saw them, I often showed you, showed you the apply products to option where you can copy all your yeah, basic information like prices, colors and so on with a few clicks from one design to all others. And I often called it, it is like the, the king of the functions here in the edit window. What we edit in the edit <laughs> is um, you have now here also the apply product history. So you don't have to have now a design here with the products you want. You can now copy from your history, select a specific design. You don't have to have it in the edit and then simply copy it from your design management to the edit to the designs you have there. So. Um, it's like, um, yeah, it's now simplified. It's now a little bit easier. It should save you a few seconds, maybe a minute, but yeah, it's, it's more comfortable. That's why we added this function. And we also have a new advanced option. And this is by far the biggest improvement in the 1.1 version. And this is scripted replace. And this basically means scaling in the edit window is now possible and it will make like an hour to five minutes no matter if it's birthday numbers if it's jobs if it's hobbies you can scale now everything you simply enter here the uh, placeholder you want to have for example mexican and then simply enter here the list with words you want to replace for example we have mexico we have tequila, we have Depp and we have dinosaur. And then all you have to do is click replace all. And then you will see this placeholder if found, of course, in the design will be replaced with the word you enter. And then you have to click replace and then every design will have this. I will make an extra video about it and show you how easy it is. Also, these lists here are in a history and they are saved if you use them and you can use them again and this will make your life a lot easier and will save you a lot of time. Believe me, this scripted replace, you will like it. And that's it for today. I hope you liked the video. I hope you liked the format where we don't explain something um, yeah, in detail, a specific function or workflow. This was more like an update video. So you have a idea what's going on, what updates are coming and yeah, what is new in which parts. You also have here a what's new um, link where you can read everything I talked about here and as I also mentioned before, for the keyboard workbench, for the scripted replace, we will do extra videos. You would help us a lot if you like this video, if you subscribe to our channel, and if you have any questions related to this video, put it down in the comments. And I think I will see you very soon. So till the next time, bye.